I think you guys should be able to hear me now. My, my, um, when the VOD comes up, somebody set up the actual time when we get audio. I was not pranking. I was not trolling. Um, and, uh, my, show peace. Out. I'm going to say peace because I'm trying to make peace with you guys that I'm not trolling. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, listen, as you guys saw, my mic was on. I wasn't trying to troll you. And then for a quick second, I'm like, oh, maybe I can roll it into it being an April Fool's prank. But I'm a sweetheart. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I would never troll you like that. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, uh, I thought, see, so what's funny is I was thinking you guys were trolling me for April Fool's. I'm thinking, well, they've got the Discord. They can, like, team up there and do some shenanigans and trick me. So all of a sudden, I'm thinking, are you guys trolling me? Uh, because you can see my mic was on. I just updated this program, Steam Labs Desktop, so maybe it messed around with some of the settings. Um, April 1st, the day, yeah, no one on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. Listen, guys, I just want to say welcome in to all of you. Thank you so much. We've got Zach is here. Exagi's here. Ven has shown up after what seems like a century. Uh, Alex has made it as well. Wreck is here. Musical Boys made it as well. Thank you guys for joining. I apologize if I missed you. Justin, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, a discerning comment here. Ven saying, I'm in your walls, Bond. You better not be. Um, but guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, Hello, everybody. I've been muted for too long. Welcome in, Draco. Um, and so I basically have been sitting here trying to fix audio, not trying to troll you guys. Uh, yet here we are. Um, we're not going to be working on fake mon today. Instead, um, I'm super excited that we're working on Bonster stuff. And Bonster is, isn't just going to be working on, say, uh, designs like for the creatures and whatnot. We'll do character designs like I've touched on in the past, maybe vehicle designs, a lot of cool things. Um, I did want to show some extra stuff that I've been working on. I've been posting a lot of my backlog over at my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, so make sure you guys follow me there to uh, catch up and see, for example, I'll be posting, you know what? You guys are my little sweeties. I'm going to just show you uh, some stuff. Alex here with uh, something insane. Just the Alex way, to be honest. Never change. All your monsters should be food type. After all, they are all edible. Devours my art. You guys know I'm trying to feed you with some good art. So on screen, I've been working on uh, some designs these are redesigns of my very first ever fake mon we had worked on these a while ago but i've been readjusting them in small kind of ways you know working on shapes and, and a lot of fun stuff it's it's really a pleasure to go back into these kind of designs they will exist as pokemon because i don't think i really want to make monsters anything like pokemon as far as character design that's going to be misconstrued in the future in some sort of video essay. But what I mean to say is, you know, I d the level of layers to monsters I don't think won't be as crazy as Pokemon is. I want to see if I can find my own way. Even if the designs are more simpler and whatnot, as long as they're fun, cool, engaging, that's what's important to me. So something like this where it's a cute little possum and then it takes on this ghostly form where it's wearing a cloak as like a fallen avenger for all the possums that have turned roadkill right um really fun concept it's been three thousand years indeed um now but basically these guys wouldn't translate well as uh monsters so that's why they'll remain fake -amon. Um, this was a Pika clone that I did. I really love how this guy came out. 
Although looking at the quill here, part of me wants to just adjust um, this front quill just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you this stuff before we get into, oh yeah, that looks much better. It's like a rooster comb. Um, but basically, uh, this guy was from a collab I did with Ron. Um, this was the original on the right side. I only had an hour to make it, so there's more intentionality in my design here, a lot more stylized uh, in a way that feels like it hits better. Um, we had done these designs a while back. Um, but yeah, overall very pleased with how that's coming along. Um, I'll show you another thing that I'm working on. It'll be my birthday soon. So I've been working on some art for myself. Um, here is kind of like a character illustration kind of thing that I wanted to do. I usually do like a self-portrait type of thing every year. So um, this is what my 2024 artist portrait is going to look like. Um, and I'll put it on my website. It's not done yet. I'm still working on it. I want like a trail of fire and whatnot. Uh, but really like how this came out and then as a little treat for I guess my little mishap from earlier I will show you guys um, The finished design for heatran my heatran redesign of a redesign um, I'm very happy with how it came out. You'll also get a sneak peek at um, Basically um, what I did with the old version of the redesign. So I'll quickly, and I'll get to your comments soon, you guys, don't worry, I promise. So this was my original Heatran redesign, and I can see the issues why people didn't like it, but I like it, I do think it looks like Heatran, and it also doesn't. I can see where people wouldn't like it, and ultimately this redesign project was me designing for me. Um, but I realized that there is a, a balance about finding design that the audience will enjoy as much as you and it's about finding middle ground and i would say this was such a wonderful learning process uh, i love how it rendered i love how i added this legacy element to it by making it feel legendary but there's a bunch of things wrong with it i don't say wrong like that but this well not these guys here is the redesigned heatran and i really love how he came out there he goes. So, um, very, very pleased with it. I ended up taking the, the molten bit, the, the rock from the, it was called the dormant form, and I attached it to the back to make it look like the, you know, nuclear explosion of nuclear energy, right? Like being like the Earth's core more than nuclear. But like, I was like thinking, well, maybe I could go in that direction for the iron paradox because people are like i can see it being an iron like a future paradox and that's what i did i altered the design and you can see all three of these guys um and how i adapted the designs so when i brought it back this way it became a little more ruddy and not like a true red i added these kind of bits here just to add that future tech element and fill up some space that open space um and then, you know, the typical iron kind of energy streak. I added these metallic bits to resemble um, the bits that Heatran has, which you can see is on here. So overall, it's pretty cool that I was able to take one design, split it into two. You know, this one didn't require as much. Um, and then here were the shinies. I went with like a Miami Vice for the heat, you know what I mean? And then just a typical cold blue, um, simple but you know i think it looks sick so those are the um designs that were born out of that because i remember we worked on this on stream again very pleased with how it came out let me know in the chat if you guys enjoy it um okay so here was this art um here's the fake mon run and then the focus of today's um art which is figuring out my typing and stuff and we're gonna go over that so um i thought you said you weren't doing types though it says rec like it would be genres or something work differently so at the end of the day types are not um 
I'm using keywords that people understand and know to describe things. Um, titles are meant to be more broad strokes. Um, and so I won't be using types, but they will be operating as types in some capacity, right? Organizing things. Um, five Michelin stars, thank you. Uh, made it to another stream. Welcome in, Vest. Welcome in. Also, fun change in my life is that I'm a man now. All right, let's get it. Um, how does it feel to be the in the Palabo project? It feels pretty dang great. I gotta say, shout outs to Deves letting uh, Bay Biba be among the first um, designs to fire upon old Deves in that video. Um, Reminds me of the early 2000s spinning Sonic art. That was kind of what I was going for. April Fool's Arthur, thank you for asking. It has been going well. Nothing crazy. Like I was saying early when I was muted, be sure to check out my channel. There's a short there, a YouTube short, if you guys haven't seen already. Um, and essentially that I have the coverage there um, to basically um, have at least some capacity of participating in the holiday i was going to go all out but then i realized i still have a lot of pokemon cross dnd stuff to finish um but here we are with what we're going to be working on today um bonnie young is in the corner throwing stir fried chicken what the redesign rocks thank you thank you thank you musical boy i've been well thank you very much i feel a lot better and i'm ready to roll so let's go over quickly some of my intentions um for monsters um pretty much uh i think the idea is um i want to simplify pokemon right uh i'll quickly share um it should be this file right here we have a lot of references that we're building off so anytime you see that left side with the persona yokai watch Yu -Gi -Oh, digimon pokemon I'm making my own thing, but I'm borrowing and being inspired by many of these um, properties, right? I want to take the parts that I grew up with that I love, and as anything that's created, that's how inspiration works. Over here, we have a lot of types. We have even one more type added, which is the stellar type. And so, yes, if I get indeed, I want to eat chalk. Okay, then. I don't know about that. I don't want you to eat chalk. Uh, welcome in, Sketch. Good to have you. Good to have you. Welcome into everybody in case I missed you in my earlier art share. So, gang, here I have the types of Pokemon. We have normal, fire, water, electric, grass, ice, fighting, poison, ground, flying, psychic, bug, rock, ghost, dragon, dark, steel, and fairy. It is a lot of types. And in my opinion, they can be truncated, kind of like, um, you know, brought down to um, a streamlined level of organization. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with, uh, hello, Dingus, welcome in with a brand new uh, portrait. Uh, yes, you're trying to figure out the text for my monster tamer. Electric, what's up, Danny? Welcome in, good to see you. Um, so what flavor of chalk, Alex? Do not, do not encourage Ven to eat chalk. And then they say the pink ones. Please don't eat pink chalk. I'm actually more than sure the light blue is tastiest. I'm kidding, do not eat chalk. Do not eat chalk. Bug type is really the only type we need. Scrap the rest. I'm with you, Alex, as a bug fan. I love your Mega Docs run. Thank you, thank you. Uh, they don't look like a lot, but they sound a lot when you try listing them. It, they don't look a lot, exactly, but there are a lot. And so I can look at these and I can consolidate them, right? Which is what we're going to do today, which is going to be more of like a graphic design kind of thing. And I've already taken the time. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you guys to death. Congrats on your own laptop, Ben. Um, but I'm going to move these to the side. We have elements like in a traditional sense, like a medieval sense where... Um, Danny, no. I love Docs fun. I think... Fido and Dachshund are a little bit of a mystery. me. I'm not going to go into it. I think they just need a little bit of adjustment. But anyway, uh, oh my God, this chalk. No colors of chalks are recommended. Does licking chalk count as eating chalk? Oh my God, you guys are silly. Yeah, there is something called edible chalk. It's called Smarties. Um, okay, so earth, fire, air, and water. Now, these are the things that I kind of want to figure out on stream. So... Uh, in my game, or concept, I'll say, I'll say game and concept interchangeably in the same way as Rec was asking earlier, am I not using types? 
I'm using types and I'm not using types, right? No matter what, the idea is organization exists, and that's going to help categorize monster design and ultimately influence monster design. I don't necessarily think that I want to do designs in a Pokemon kind of way. Again, there's going to be plenty of mon that people will be like, oh, it looks like Pokemon or what, whatever. Like, you can't, you know, get around it. Even Pokemon will put out designs today, right? Game Freak Official, and people will be like, it looks like a Digimon. Whatever it is, you can't win. Just have fun doing whatever you do. That's my lesson all the time. So in my game, I want to do monster roles, right? What does this monster provide in the overworld? So I think I want to go in three directions. I kind of want to do... If we can have three creatures on the field at any given time, I want people to come up with their own strategies where type isn't the most important thing. I don't want you, if you love Charizard so much, I don't want you to have to put out Charizard. And when the enemy guy puts out Blastoise, you're like, oh crap, I'm going to swap him out because my Blastoise is going to get washed. Excuse me, the other way around, my Charizard's going to get washed, literally. Um, I want you to just choose your monsters and fight with the ones you like, design or whatever your reasoning is. So to me, um, I think there could be, instead of doing strategy with the types it'll be the roles right so you could put in my you know i'm figuring out different ways i don't know if i'm going to do a thing where it's going to be um strategy in the sense like positioning on the field but like you can have a bruiser a tank and a supporter right that fills your three maybe you can have two tanks with one supporter in the back alternating heels between them maybe it's one tank with two supporters maybe it's a team of all three bruisers and you just want to quickly wipe the field right i think that's where a lot of the strategy will come in and i think i want to mess around with terrain as well that way you could if you wanted to have themes and have multiple uh classes be represented which is my take on types um all right let's catch up with you silly geese right here yeah my problems with eating chalk i'm over it now all chalk is edible if it fits in your mouth alex these dogs need more time in the easy bacon oven indeed smarties are actually so good they're very good uh anyone gonna be lurking while drawing not a worry Ven. feel free to pop in whenever you want let's get cracking on design you're going to implement weaknesses strengths of these types as i was just explaining actually i don't plan on it and nothing is set in stone, so don't take anything as gospel. But there's some designs that will be Pokemon, but you want your own monster collecting project to have its own date. Exactly. So I don't really want to be like, here's an ox and its horns are made of fire. I could I could see myself adding fire to designs for sure, but it's also I'm not trying to go for that formula, is what I'm trying to get at, right? So uh I want to design things like uh, go over my direction for the classes again um, there's going to be multiple levels to this so I think the first thing we'll design is the alignment for creatures um, the, what I mean by that is that um, basically you can kind of uh, tweak the direction of how your monster is being raised you can have them be more uh, in chaos which is like i don't want to say the evil side right then you have fear which is your even keel and then you have order which is like the good guy but i don't want chaos or order to re represent good or evil right uh i always want to do um designs that live kind of in that gray space and so that's why i think order and chaos is a great way to um you know kind of um i guess you could say um represent like for example gengar right um gengar is a creature that the pokedex entries are like it's like this monster scary creature chases you till you die or whatever but then the anime and all this other kind of stuff you can see depictions of very cute simple ones who are just like wanting to chill i like the idea that chaos is more like you know um loosely unhinged right not evil and then um order is like kind of like a paladin but you're not all the way you know goody two shoes where you're living that in between space right i think a cool way of including the types would be setting up your team perhaps having a wind and fire monster on your team makes fire spread more efficiently that would be really difficult to implement i think that would add a lot of extra 
physics generation, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll say never say never, but um, that kind of stuff I feel would be a little hard to implement. I want to keep things very simple. And I think the moment I really start developing my designs, plus actually putting these into whatever gaming aspect, I think then I can figure out cool stuff like that. Uh, Cassette Beast did something very interesting with types making them interact via buffs and debuffs. It means you could attack your partner and buff them. That is really cool. Um, I saw a chart list and it kind of like made me, made my head spin. Uh, not to be negative on it. I've heard awesome things about it, but it's i don't think i'm going for that level of complexity um i think it is really cool that they could do that though and hello dev welcome in welcome in gengar mentioned indeed what's going on bomber cloud welcome in uh and musical boy you were saying earlier what is uh the difference in in britain with the smarties so chaos and order more like chaotic and lawful yeah exactly right it's exactly like that except you know yeah they don't have to represent like ultimate good or ultimate evil um, and I think what I was really thinking about what I could do with that is either moves could also, um, maybe that's like a kind of cycle where order and chaos are weak against each other. Maybe fair doesn't do his damage to either. You know what I mean? Maybe there's something there that could add, um, you know, uh, some semblance of strategy, right? Uh, in my opinion, either chaos and order can be good and bad. Chaos, for example, could be represented freedom. Exactly, exactly, right? Sometimes people use their religion as a means to sow chaos, right? Even though they think it's order. It's a matter of perspective. Um, what's up, Jorp? Welcome in. Chaos sounds good to me. And I think that's going to be really cool because maybe, again, the way I think that order and chaos... Um, I want them never to be misconstrued as evil and heroic, right? Good and bad. That's missing the point. Um, so, okay. Now that we have that set up and how that affects potentially character design, maybe certain evolutions are unlocked by going in a certain direction. Um, it'd be really cool if maybe there were lines where it split evos and you can choose to, because it's like in a more Digimon or Mega Evolution kind of way, I think it'd be really, really cool um, to have like your choice, right? Once you unlock a, a direction for the creature, you can, you know, maybe boost evolve them into a chaos form or the order form, right? Depending on what you need. Um, you never found that type chart either, but it was fun to stumble on. Not good for every game, but cool. Yeah, it's cool. I appreciate the level, but it, it is a lot. I was like okay like at least with types like you could kind of make sense of it i'm sure there's plenty of reasoning and whatnot but um yeah um smarties that you care more like m ms okay gotcha um yeah i think i've had those in india i want to say uh i don't think anything can be purely good or bad yes and no there are, have been certain awful people in the past dictators and such that to me are pretty damn evil um but we won't get into that kind of stuff but yes that's the idea instead of having complex type sure you can make each tips have their own unique passive that is also something pretty cool and that's still far less um difficult to um remember than say a um you know a type chart right in pokemon or a cassette beast buffs debuffs so let's go and see how i go about breaking up my types the names again none of this is set in stone but we're gonna start drawing very very soon i promise okay so um ignore some of this stuff it's not all accurate so first they have an alignment order fair and chaos right um now so let's do alignment first and now we have classes um it's not two classes so we have typic and i'm only using the pokemon stuff as a reference because it you know pokemon has done it in a perfect way right pokemon are often represented by their features and their colors in their typing right so same happens here. So Tipic will be your normal fighting and bug types. To me, fighting as a type, I get it, but I think it's a little unnecessary. Same with bug. 
we wouldn't have dog type, right? We have dragon type, which also I don't necessarily agree with. I know people would stone me for that um, idea or that thought, but I don't think bug, dragon, you could, you could argue dragon magic is its own thing um, in a fantasy setting, so fine. But I think it's kind of funny that bug is its own thing. Maybe it's paying homage to the game starting off as like a bug collector type of vibe. So typic is your typical types, things that are normal in the world, nothing extraordinary about them. Then you have, and part of me was thinking, do I even need a typic type? So we'll see again how all this changes when I actually work on designs. When it comes to Terra, um, it's going to be uh, grass, ground, rock, and steel. These are elements of the earth, right? And now I know what you guys are going to say because I thought about it with, say, magic uh, as the next type. But I'm thinking in a very Final Fantasy kind of way. So I think you guys can understand where I'm going for. But Terra will be very natural elements, like the elements that really fill up the world in a, I don't want to say concrete kind of way, but yeah, in a concrete kind of way magic hello nintendo zombie welcome in welcome in a mythic type yeah mythic would have been a cool type for like dragons or whatnot or even say a lot of legendaries right um maybe many of the legendaries like lunala and sol galeo could have been mythic right in mine i might sh i might straight up take cosmic and put mythic ideally i would love to do um like you see i have typic magic cosmic I might, you know what, I might do instead of magic, I think maybe I will have it be mystic instead of fable and lucky or fey and object. I don't think that's the right word. So if you guys have a word too. Uh, Cosmic's also good. I'm not doing it bug in my monster, but I don't have anything set in stone. A few types that work for my world. I love how dinosaur can group dinosaur types into fire, water, lightning, earth, grass. Yeah, just keep it simple, right? Same thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! does the same thing as well. Uh, I think the Fae type to sum up all the fictional. Uh, I don't know, because Fae to me is still very fairy, so. I think the way to start is to connect the classes to the type, just to set the vibe for how they could be designed. Balance for Tippic, Tank for Terra, and Boozer for Magic. Oh, that's interesting. The way I, I don't want to really um, connect classes to types per se, or roles, I call them. But, you know, maybe to get the ball rolling. I may straight up scrap the role stuff because, I, again, I don't want too many things to, you know, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Then people are like, oh, I got a role, an alignment, a type. I think that would add a lot of um, simple yet... Um, not multiplier, but like it adds layers and depth. So, because I don't have a lot of types. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I would call those druidic because druids are, that's true. I do like druidic, but I like the simplicity of magic or mystic. Um, occult, again, I would love to, Lucky is the alter, alternate color palette version. I don't think that's accurate either, so I'm going to swap that for now. Arcane for Fae and Co. instead of Fable? Hmm, I do like Arcane, but um, I want to do for Fae, Object Bond, those kind of like extraterrestrial, not extraterrestrial, but like we'll figure it out as it comes. Um, I like Occult. It's one of the best words. Okay, so let me go through this in the meantime, right? Uh, arcane does go great um but i want to keep words very simple and ideally again if i could do typic magic cosmic that would be perfect so if anybody knows one that i could replace with terra again for the sake of like simplicity and like keeping things easy for my my players right oh typic magic cosmic mythic like it's easy spirit for fable spirit no, because I would, and to be fair, I don't know if I even need to, oh, you know what? No, I think I, it would need to be its own type because it wouldn't fit into Terra. They're not typical. Uh, they're not, I mean, they are magical to some degree, but I want them to be like 
construct lithic what does lithic mean i love it i don't know what it means but lithic is stony or relating to oh interesting maybe we could do lithic but now would grass work for lithic i'll i'll write i'm gonna put lithic on the side i like that suggestion a lot like paleolithic tools and whatnot right nice one nice one lithic i'm just gonna put it here quickly bonnie after listening to ad pod i finished uh the first campaign now i'm listening to trinavale uh i like arcane <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that was a funny little thing going on um maybe tricky Ooh, i like tricky for object and fey and mimic object mon can be described as such i like that i don't i don't know if i want to say necessarily tricky but maybe in that spirit um apparition type no apparition would fit into occult animate um and yeah maybe something like animated whimsical i like whimsical i want to find words that are are simpler i'll i'll mark some of these suggestions down though i like whimsical is really fun whimsy whimsic no that doesn't make sense whimsic having animated um lithic is fun but then guys tell me what you think about grass existing with the terra type cryptic Ooh, i like cryptic quite a bit cryptic typic lithic magic and cosmic do you guys see the simplicity of making things like that work like you know if i have things and i'm not you know like if i had apparition and arcane and occult and all these different kind of words it's not bad but making it easy for the audience by finding um, a kind of order for them to understand things, they'll know, oh, those are the classes. Typic, mythic, cryptic, cosmic. Ah, oh, this is fire. Good job. Whimsicott. Boycott Whimsicott. Um, yeah, I do like crim uh, cryptic a lot. Um, now for a cult, maybe for a cult. A cult is a great one because it does fit very well uh i have psychic ghost dark and my take on the poison type i i like poison type mons but i don't think it also necessarily needs a type it kind of does but maybe poison isn't the best way to describe it so to me poison in mine won't be poison it's more like decay or necro um like an undeadish kind of energy I think it works in the occult space with psychic, ghost, and dark, right? They're all very, very related. It's cultic a word. I wonder, let me see. Cultic would work. Cult, I'll write cultic meaning. Adjective form of cult. Um... cult cultic is the adjective honestly that kind of tracks right if you're a dark type you belong in a a cult of some types right like a gang a psychic might have their own cult or coven um i'm gonna do cultic for now i i, I kind of like cultic because i really love the word occult it's just i think it works cryptic cultic cosmic gothic oh i like gothic as well gothic although my only thing is like people are gonna think like goth types and then like maybe that p might poke fun into it i'll put cultic as a back gothic apocalyptic it's a little long right i like cultic too typic what do we think about lithic you guys i like lithic a lot but again my only thought is that do i maybe move do i maybe move grass into the magic 
category and then have ground rock and steel and terra because that i was thinking about this earlier because i feel like with terra you'd also have to put fire is natural right like volcano um water is clearly very very much a, an unearthly kind of element right we wouldn't have life without water so you know what i think we'll use lithic for ground rock and steel and again it's not like we're outright using um so you know what we'll move grass down just a bit i think you know like vines and things like that jumping up and and grabbing someone or trees forming is pretty magical right in hindsight uh i was thinking all that today earlier too funny enough so lithic fortunately lithic gets to stay in the meantime so you guys see like the simplicity of finding again words that like fit all this i'm already so stoked you guys i think this is perfect um so we have typic for normal fighting bug lithic for ground rock steel magic for you know maybe instead of magic it should be mystic um the no but see mystic kind of feels that's why magic also feel, no like fire magic wind magic i think it'll be magic mystic could feel like wait maybe we can no magic mystic is close cryptic gothic cosmic um is cosmic going to be mythic i feel cosmic would be too spacey see i see what you're going for um grass equals nature equals druid equals magic well done with the math there breck lithic sounds good and i think having grass there works unless you want to treat grass as nature i think that's how i'm feeling um is cosmic going to be mythic i feel cosmic would be too spacey uh that way the two don't start with c that's true so far now if i go for mythic instead of cosmic we'd have two right because we have typic lithic mythic cryptic gothic so it would be sick if we swapped cosmic out i see why mythic would be great for legendary however i like cosmic and um you know dingus isn't wrong about that statement cosmic kind of sounds more spacey however that to me also fits because it's supposed to mean entities that are like beyond our plane right what's cosmic to us is like outer space but cosmic here is like another plane of le like a heavenly entity mythic is also great but now that we have different words with different letters uh i want to see if we can make something instead of cosmic or mythic for the legendary type and again i don't want to necessarily say legendary it's just that a good chunk of the strongest beasts would be in that last category you know uh so i'll put cultic there whimsical animated i think we can delete that because cryptic is pretty great yeah exactly cosmic is the astral plane is what i'm trying to go for but i want to see if we can get another let's look it up real quick and then we're finally gonna draw we're gonna finally draw something you guys i'm gonna look for another word for mythic um legendary mythological fabled maybe it could be oh here's folkloric heroic type cryptic gothic heroic no well you know because i don't there could be like darker entities right again chaos and order so i wouldn't want them to be considered heroic um runic maybe like they no not ruin runic cosmic can be used to explain eldritch yeah exactly uh i believe dindy uses it too exactly whimsical too long heroic i was just saying heroic i think it's too long um i mean sorry because i have order and chaos uh heroic feels like it would lean too much into order heroic was good for that quick second that i thought it was gonna work uh epic i feel like 
I was just thinking runic. Yeah, I like runic too. Um, but it doesn't feel like it has that oomph, you know? Um, as far as a statement. Like, mythic sounds mythic. And again, I'm not opposed to keeping, say, mythic. And then um, changing magic. We can also have... Maybe we could change it so that magic is the one hello gabby today we're working on the types for my monster tamer basically my take on types i'm going to be designing and drawing up all the different kind of uh symbols that will pretty much go for all the creatures so let's find another word for magic just in case because i do like mythic quite a bit i think mythic <clears throat> does a wonderful job of describing that legacy or legend, you know? Um, maybe magic could be runic, right? Because runic means the it's the adjective form of rune. And so runes could be a lot of divinatory symbols. So maybe we could go runic for magic. And that way, that would also think about guys how magic alters the way we think about something right by going runic it's still divination of which fire electric water ice wind grass things like that could be summoned right sorcery conjuring it, not necessarily using sorcery but like that it's in their blood to be of that nature right um fantastic titanic Ooh, or exotic. Oh, I like exotic a lot, too. Sorcerer charm. Ooh, charm is cute. But charm could be a way to describe, like, object mons, maybe. Like, they're the world's charms or something. Then all your tarps start with a unique letter. Make them stand out. Exactly musical. Runic's goaded. We like runic. You solved the puzzle. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your help. Um, but you guys see what I mean? Like how silly it sounds like Bonnie. Why do you want it all to end with ick? And then look all of a sudden typic lithic runic cryptic gothic and mythic It just rolls off the tongue and it really feels like they belong in the group Right exotic does sound really good. I'll mark it on the side um Just in case I want to use it because I have cultic as well, which I do like you know, I do like cultic quite a bit, um, but cryptic is pretty damn good. Extrinsic. Um, sorceric. So, guys, I think we kind of solved the puzzle. I believe, is this all the types? Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We got it. Never gonna happen. Atomic. Ooh. I mean, to be fair, cryptic would be the man-made ones. My object mods. The egg pattern pleases my brains. That's what I'm saying. Rick, just Rick. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in atomic potentially for something. I don't know. It's never a bad thing to add more categories as they come up. Remember. My goal isn't to necessarily, um, you know, just create these things and then live in the confines. It gives me the ick in a good way. I was just thinking that too when I said like all the icks. Um, but I'm going to be designing monsters over the next few months, right? On stream, I might design something. I'm like, crap, it doesn't fit in typic or lithic or runic or cryptic or gothic or mythic, you know? Um, and then I might have to make a new type and it'll make sense, right? Um, or maybe a certain word, lithic, for example, fits really great against runic. Um, it feels like paleolith and rune sound magical. Cryptic gives that feeling of like things that exist out in the outer world. Um, I don't know if, you know what? It could be that object mon go to atomic. Although with atomic, it does sound more like nuclear. Um, and cryptid could be phase 
maybe not too much phase, but like I'll say what's the word? Atomic could be object mon and cryptic could be hmm, maybe we might not need a cryptic because we wouldn't call like a bell monster or a fireplace monster uh, a cryptid would we or maybe we would garlic type toxic robotic for constructs oh robotic although atomic would be good for a poison type like atomic waste that's true too poison waste infection radiation that's true but see i have necro and such in um in uh in gothic because it's like undead i don't really plan on having designs that read poison waste infection radiation um it would fit under gothic for that fiction cryptic kind of dudes methodic for man-made Ooh, i like methodic a little long i like how it's gothic mythic runic cryptic lithic tiffic so if we can get a second that would be kind of nice right um septic you know what i like septic instead of atomic if i were going to do i'm gonna just make that list because draco listed it nicely here poison waste infection radiation who knows maybe i will have mons like that right like again i'm not trying to limit myself per se but for now these are the base level ones with cryptic, I don't know if I need cryptic to be on it. Mimics are cryptids, creatures that mimic man-made. Yeah, but that would, that's only one kind of entity in the whole line of cryptic lights. Puppetic. Um, so I do need something for man-made. Let's see. Let's once again go into... Uh, I'm going to look up man-made. Man-made synonyms. Are synthetic that's too long plastic <laughs> plastic is a type of material unfortunately um i like plastic uh fabric for clothes like it's fabricated but again fabric kind of reads like um synthetic is nice Mechanic pookies? Cryptic fey demons cryptids. Hmm. Tuning for all the designs we're in color. Petrolix. Yeah, we need petrol in our cars. Um I don't know if we need cryptids, guys. Because something like I'll put cryptic down here. I do think Object Mon, I do want it to have their own thing because they are going to be man-made constructs. So I'll put Cryptic here because right now I don't have enough to really fill that space um, because I even have Fairy in Mythic anyway. So we have Typic, Lithic, Runic, Gothic, and Mythic. Nice and easy. Did anyone say Automatic? It's a little too long. Oh, Bionic instead of Robotic. But see, the thing about bionic is it sounds like bio um which sounds like biology which is more man-made or not man-made organic right corruption also for syrup oh yeah for septic you can make existing septic like oh okay okay yeah I'll, I'll add uh corruption too i mean one way or another a lot of these are you know synonyms right uh you could say to be infected is to be corrupted or poisoned right um, so I don't necessarily see, um, I don't necessarily see septic making it in, but I'm just simply listing it because we have the poison type, which again, I'm reclassifying poison in a way, um, Laura Ipsum is there. I, I'm replacing poison for necro in a way. Is puppetic a word? I don't think so. Yeah, bio means life. That's why bionic won't necessarily work. Robotics too long. Yeah, consider genetic, again, kind of long. Um, automatic. It's not like the biggest thing I need to figure out right now for object mon. But listen, once we start drawing, which we'll draw now, 
Um, yay, we can finally draw. We're going to absolutely... Um, wait, what is that under... What's hiding there, gang? Oh, gotcha. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay. So I, I got all this here. I'm just going to organize all this now. God. Panic for all the design. <laughs> yeah, keep coming up with words. We might be able to use, like, spin it off some way, somehow, right? So I'm going to move septic down to cryptic. They're not priorities for, for the types. I think this is perfect. I don't need a lot. P sick for peace? No, I, I, I think P sick. I'm thinking Piscine, like fish. Um, I'm going to bring down object mon well object mon would be its own thing things things like a spirit well you know what maybe object mon could go into you know what maybe we could put object mon in gothic like life put itself into something you know what i mean how does that track for you guys it could just be the ick. Um, and then maybe septic could be its own type. But because we would consolidate. The poison are like toxic. Oh yeah, that makes... How did we not think toxic? Yeah, how did we not think toxic for septic? We also had atomic, but again, I think like at atoms and stuff. So this is what I might do. I I might just do this. But you know what? Septic sounds gross, which probably feels right. What if we put necro with septic or maybe toxic or another kind of word? And then we put object mon into gothic because they are imbibed with spirit, right? Whether or not man-made it or not, I feel like that makes sense, gang. What do you guys think? I think that tracks. But no, too long, Gabsters, too long. Um, YouTube avatar, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I responded to it. Um, is stick for all the not gith yankee nice reference the ironic type it's like elemental beings trapped in the material plane in dnd yokais that were given objects in life so it makes sense so okay let's keep it like this typic lithic runic i don't know if septic is the word you guys Dang, as we keep getting closer, another word for septic. Because I think necro... Dang, you know what? Necro does feel like it belongs in a cult. Right? Septic is infected with microorganisms, especially um, harmful bacteria. You know? So... Caustic... Caustic is a wonderful word. Able to burn a corroded organic tissue by chemical reaction. That might be that might be it. Because we could say that necro fits in there as well. Because that genuinely might work. Because Maybe necro is like the body being quote unquote burned, right? Like it kind of, I'm gonna just make this a little faded. 
rotten rotic of rot i don't think that's a real word caustic is a fitting right yeah and caustic is from apex legends i used to love playing that guy he's a maniac caustic typic lithic runic caustic gothic and mythic right nice caustic works guys i think we have the roles i mean the classes i I might like straight up just call them types. The part of the reason why is because the typical type, aka normal, is typic. So I don't want to be like the type typic. So I'll say classes, because again, it's very DD inspired. Um so delicopsephalic, I don't know what that means at all. Um so awesome. I think we have something that works here. Um Again, nothing is set in stone, so if I need to move things around, so so be it. But now we have six types. I would say these five are probably the most... Here, let's go ahead and we're going to start designing. I've broken down a good majority of the types. So, for example, this is the typic type, right? Humic for object mods. It means related or derived from humans. Humic... I don't know. Not all the monsters will be made from humans, like the man-made ones. So I think I like it in occult for now. But let's keep thinking in the background. Here's the typic type, right? Normal, bug, fighting, um, just things that are regular, regular. You have your runic type are these guys, right? Fire, water, air, except air in mine, it's not flying type, it's it's like wind energy, right? But you won't even break it down into fire, water, air, or any of that kind of stuff. They're just you know, the a runic energy, right? So a creature that's fire um is not gonna be super effective against one that's water or electric or whatever it is. They have the same source of magic, right? Or ability. Uh, so that's why thunder and ice would be here then the legendary class you can think like stellar type as well from pokemon you have dragons and i think fairy to me obviously it's not that it's outright fairy it's not that it's dragon think like eldritch entities right this is the strongest this is the mythic class they are just the most powerful magical kind of entities then you have gothic the gothic will feature psychic dark type ghost type energies things like that and then finally we have lithic we're going to remove actually the grass energy that's going to be over in runic now layer via cut okay we'll put them here well, i gotta change my layers now so runic gothic mythic typic and lithic awesome fellas what's going on hello rosa who wants to fill in rosa as i continue to push through patrons if you will who's the patron i don't think they're going to be borrowing energy although that could be cool um maybe the, the player avatar is Alex, you're not wrong there, but it is kind of silly. We're basically figuring out the types. So I guess that was a good time to just go over it again. Typic, lithic, runic, caustic, gothic, and mythic. So awesome. Let's go ahead and we finally, guys, I can't believe it. We finally get to draw. I'm done chatting and, and boring you guys to death. So I'm going to get this out into the middle of each of these okay let me go ahead and again i don't know if caustic will stick around because in my head i don't really plan on having a lot of types like that like you know maybe mushrooms could live in that space but even then i'm like thinking like how many mushrooms am i gonna have not that many right and i don't want to like i don't necessarily see myself making like living sludge monsters and things like that you know um and even if i were to make something like skeletons and necro i feel like 
that would fit more in gothic but again we'll figure it out as we go um isn't that earthbender sinvo i'm not bored you aren't bored um let's see um yes i you know what it was i was probably like oh it's green therefore it's leaf but you're absolutely right i just combined it because my and that's the importance of color you guys that is the importance of color so we'll put that over there uh it will be in lithic good catch there lithic runic so as we were saying before typic lithic runic gothic mystic i ignored caustic for now i'm not gonna really put caustic in the mix just yet the how many is that one two three four the five nations lived in harmony and everything changed when something happened in the story that i'm writing Costing would be cool if it was an unnatural like infection for monsters natural costing monsters can be mushroom zombies or any decomposers yeah yeah that's why i'm i'm that's what i'm saying though like what really would be a decomposer you know what i mean again even when i think zombie i immediately think of something occult like a witcher or a, a mage lifted from the dead sounds more gothic to me than caustic you know what i mean that's why poison to me didn't really track i feel like the more i'm having this conversation the more i'm thinking caustic is going to take a back seat and i'm going to move so okay crap gang i think caustic is going to take a back seat i can't think of any natural thing that um oh what the heck is this merge um let's see youtube money fans the streaming service nation attacked i'm gonna move caustic i just really can't think of mons that fit it you know what i mean designs like museum museums jesus christ mushrooms are kind of the only thing that i'm like immediately thinking so i think object mon they could be maybe we'll keep cryptic for now and we'll put necro back how does that sound you guys and we'll just say that in my universe man-made or otherwise those are considered cryptids maybe they're just rarer kind of entities right what do we think about that fey object mon like things that are out in the wild the museum monster like things that are like truly in their own bracket like weirdos like maybe for example i think mushrooms could live in cryptics for example right mushroom bacteria bugs hmm bacteria i don't really see bacteria i guess for a bug one cryptic would work for bug two actually right they're atypical kind of monsters or i could have a bug made of say ground or rock or steel like bug would be hmm mushroom mu museum mushroom better become real rustic rustic for all the monster rustic i like rustic as a name too goodbye poison type you're always my favorite but you don't match every as of right now the poison type doesn't really fit my vision um and not all mushrooms are poisonous anyway think ific bacteria could be a slime nudge nudge they're basically just mm. see but look now my wait a second the relic type i like relic for cryptic too you know what i'll keep cryptic because that actually really tracks a slime would very well be a cryptid in this universe right it's not quite a regular animal it's a cryptid 
it works okay i think we're back on beach back on the menu boys we got cryptic back in the house everyone wish cryptic uh a welcome back in chat you made it back um people were rooting for you cryptic because they really liked that name when you dropped so there we go cryptic here are the types let's start designing and i'll just say you know relics of the past are considered you know what whether it was man or some other entity to have made um you know what i mean like um oh do we have two r's typic lithic runic cryptic got no we're good cryptic is a vibe right yeah that's what i'm saying i think cryptic's the play for sure okay so now i'm gonna lock this up and we're gonna finally freaking design some art stuff Caustic walks are cryptic, exactly right. Relic works great for object mod. It does, it does. But we'll put crypt, you know what? Guys, I keep forgetting. I'm like thinking things like of our real world or like Pokemon terms. This is my universe, right? So let's go ahead. We have the types. So with Tippic, it is the normal type. I know, I'm always overthinking, but listen, I'm a perfectionist and I think that's why my work is so strong. I don't leave any stone unturned, but this looks like the perfect setup. How simple is this, right? With Pokemon and their 18 types, I love it. I love Pokemon types. I love the colors. I love how the mons are designed, but it's a lot to track. I think this system simplifies it in such a, a simple way. And to me, that's beautiful. So in cryptic, it's just going to be unexplained. I think that works too. All right. So for typic, I think the color, let's start figuring out color first, right? Um, because color coding things is very important, right? When we see blue, we immediately think water, right? When we think red, we think fire right <clears throat> things like love is you know symbolic right because fire is a powerful kind of entity it burns and stings kind of like love you see what i'm saying that kind of stuff is going to be really important so i think for typic gray might be the play for the color gray might be the play blending options i'm just going to add a little bit of a drop shadow so we can see um Okay, that looks good. And so, puke green for all of them. No Irish jigging. Um, make basic looking design. Yes and no. You're absolutely right in that it should be something that, um, oh no, needs to immediately be recognizable. That's the importance of logos and graphic design in that way, right? Um, we rasterize this layer and now when i copy there we go so we're, i'm gonna do it like this so at the top is the mythic line to me that might have to be very obviously i feel like that's going to be purple purple to me feels very um like royal then we can put like the different And we could do cool corresponding movement and circle placements, um, you know, as like a hierarchy kind of setup, right? Okay. So let's do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Trying to line it up. It does feel like there's a little bit of a hierarchy, but you know, this is just for the sake of organization and trying to um, just lay things out visually for us to see. Um, beige or gray for typic. Not a real suggestion, but more typic than a square. For now, I'm just putting circles just because like it's a Pokeball thing. I think I want to see maybe red. I was thinking, yeah, black or... Actually, you know what? 
Gothic has to be black, I feel. Black, I'm, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. I'm going to do mythic as like a golden kind of color, right? That to me makes sense. So mythic at the top, and I'm gonna line up, um, wait, is this right? Yeah, there's six. six. So we're gonna have the basic one. I do like beige actually for typic ground basically lithic will be like a brown um cryptic cryptic could be more of a black just because it's like unexplored i want to say green would be runic because it's like a very energetic kind of like source of power magic right um and again nothing is set in stone um color most associated with mystery i feel like i like purple actually for for gothic just because i'm thinking psychic i'm thinking like nighttime is like a a bluish purple could also be dark ideally black makes obviously a ton of sense orange for lithic so pops out and orange just vibrant brown anyways let's see um this is hard typic okay so mythic at the top Cryptic. Hmm. I want to see if I can get the base colors of the rainbow. So let's do red. See, I don't know about orange for lithic. For ground and whatnot. This feels right. Orange. I don't think I'm going to use black. I think for the purple, it's just going to be like a dull purple like this. Mythic, gothic. What's cryptic going to be? Cryptic could be... We don't have a blue. I, You know what? Runic could also be blue. Lithic feels like a stone gray. That's what I was thinking too, actually. Typic. Lithic. We don't have a red. What would a cryptid be, you guys? What if lithic was more ruddy red? Oh, I like that. Oh, red for cryptid feels like blood and blood living creature. Ooh. I also like the ruddy red for... Oh, yeah, because it could be like clay. But then, you know what? Cryptic being red, there's something organic about it. It's imbi imbued with energy. Let's do this. Indigo. Indigo, hmm, I already have like a purple and indigo is kind of an in-between. Let's stick with this for now. I'm gonna start designing, okay, let's do mythic first. I think I have an idea for the mythic symbol. And it's not like these designs were made by... I think it's more like a video game thing. It's not like... I always laugh about... Um, all I got is that we need a red. Uh, I associate cryptid things with dark blues or reds. I think the dark blue works too because it could be like nighttime. You know what I mean? Like when cryptids run free. But remember, cryptic doesn't necessarily mean like a Bigfoot and stuff. Like it can mean that, but it's just going to be anything that's really unexplained in the world. Um, so 
let's focus on the symbols first and i think the symbols will also help us figure out colors so in pokemon right for the longest time types and stuff was a very graphic design kind of thing right alex you read my mind that's exactly what i'm trying to go for especially being on the top of this rectangular kind of setup um so again don't mind the colors too much you know i'll find the pay, the, the perfect kind of breakdown for them but uh for the time being um exactly what i was thinking i'm going to be doing a combination of a star and a crown so what i was trying to get out you gang was that you know when we played pokemon games you know obviously we have colors and stuff we have types uh and that at some point we would eventually learn um you know just symbols make sense for a quick look at a, a type but then in the latest game i guess terapagos is a graphic designer and there was like a lot of funky moments where like there'd be a light bulb which is a very man-made invention on electric pokemon's heads i didn't like that so these will be like very much in the veins that maybe these are man-made symbols or like a video game kind of thing maybe a god made them who knows i gotta figure it out right so let's oh, come me dick type so i'm gonna go ahead and get started so mythic and i'll write the names here on the side so we can kind of just keep track um i think something like like a crown like this And then maybe it comes into like a star. And it doesn't have to be something that feels outright um, like, oh, it doesn't look like a crown. It doesn't look like a, like a star. It's a symbol, right? Above all, it just needs to look mythical, right? So I kind of like this kind of, it almost looks like a sword too. It's like a sword and then maybe almost like the crown completes it to make it like a trident or something. I mean, already that kind of looks pretty dope. As far as, again, how the actual design will be, who knows? It could be as simple as me just making the inside parts all white. Or maybe I'll go even more in depth, right? Maybe there's going to be like breaks and stuff, right? These are first passes after all. I could do cool things like, you know, adding these kind of cuts in. 